Well, I thoroughly warmed up the engine, and uh, turns out the temperature gauge still stays below 100. So what it did was I got a potentiometer here, you know, just a like you can adjust the resistance, right? Um, the sending unit shows 600, like a stock Chevy small block sending unit with a gauge. It's uh, 600 ohms resistance for 100 degrees on a gauge, 85 ohms resistance for 220. So I'm going to show this at 222 ohms or 220 ohms. That should put the gauge like over 100. So I also want to show you where it's located. You know, it's on the side of the block there. You can see. See the wire? Right there. Actually, I took a Dremel tool, cleaned up the wire, cleaned up um, the end of the uh, sending unit with uh, the little uh, stainless steel wire brush on a Dremel tool just to see if it was making good contact. Maybe that was a problem because it's showing infinite resistance. Yeah, well, we'll see what's going to happen here because, uh, you know, we'll see. We'll see. I don't know. <laughs> you know I didn't test it yet, so we'll find out. So, and by the way, when you change that gauge, it's uh, 20 foot pounds. You put some Teflon tape. So there's your, here's your connector, and it just you know it slides on a little end of the gauge, and it's plugged into the block. So we'll connect the battery up, and uh, see what I'm going to do. Okay, so I connected from one side of the ground through the resistance uh, so that'll work like the sending unit right potentiometer put it like 220 ohms to the other wire on the sending unit and we're gonna see what's gonna happen here well I got another problem here because you know maybe the sending unit is bad too but um, no matter what if I set it on infinite resistance or well infinite resistance it should read zero on a gauge uh, 600 ohms should be 100 220 should be at 85 ohms and no matter what I put it on even if I put it where it's open it just the gauge doesn't read nothing so there's something freaking wrong with the I don't know the wire or some bullshit someplace I don't know where, but uh, <laughs> it's going to be one of those things. But I will figure it out because I don't want to put an aftermarket gauge in it when you got nice you got gauges you can use like this. So anyway, that's how you check it, though. Um, <laughs> anyway, so that's how you check it. 85 ohms is 220. Uh, 600 ohms is 100. Um, so if I'm putting on resistance when it's being grounded out for um, around 200 ohms, I should be, you know, like halfway between 100 and 220. And if I make it down to like 30 ohms, it should be like almost all the way the other way. And I tried it where it's just, you know, infinite resistance just to see if I had a, something wrong. No, no good. No good. So, I only got one gauge out of this deal, right, uh, out of one gauge. Actually, my other one was probably good. This might be good. I don't know. We're going to find out. But uh, this kind of shit takes a while sometimes. Sometimes it's easy. Sometimes it's not. And what it is is when uh, an old car is sitting around for a while. Um, I know the wire is not fucking... It, the wire is not... I cleaned it off with the Dremel. Uh, I'm going to have to trace everything. That's what I'm going to have to do. Pain in the ass. Okay, so I have the gauge disconnected from the um, sending unit. And what I did was I hooked the ohm meter to the sending unit. So this will be just like the sending unit would be telling the gauge what's going on. 
So it's reading 792 ohms, which means it's colder than 100 degrees, and the engine is pretty cold because uh, it's been off for about an hour. So we got it to the ground. So as the engine warms up, this resistance should go down. Let's see what happens. That's the sending unit. See, it's uh, the resistance is changing. So, you know, that's sending unit looks like it's okay. I mean, if it's not 100% accurate, it's working. So, something's wrong. Or, I don't know. I don't know where it is, but we'll figure it out. That's how you can check the sending unit. I mean, you can put a gauge on it, too, but. <laughs> Let's see, I'll see where it settles out. So it looks like it's settled right down, I don't know, 298, 299, something like that. So, that's about right, I mean, uh, 85 is 220, 20 degrees, 600 is 100. That's like right between there. So, not overheating, that's for sure. Anyway.